this is an area of my workshop that I use quite a bit. Uh, one of the things that I use a lot is my bandsaw, and it's a 10 inch throat bandsaw. I don't use uh, anything under normal circumstances that needs a bigger bandsaw. Uh, if I do need something to saw a little bit bigger, my brother-in-law has a nice circuit, uh, table saw, so I go up and use that. Uh, I also have a, uh, a couple of different electric sanders. I also have a small bake oven here. Uh, that's for if I want to uh, paint something and then bake the paint onto the metal. Uh, I'll put it in and set the uh, oven for maybe 250 or 300 degrees, let it bake for a couple of hours, and usually that paint gets really hard. Of course, my paint hood I use a lot, and I always have different projects going on. Here I painted some concrete blocks. They're actually they're celly castings uh, that are metal. Uh, it's a lead-based metal, and I just use some uh, primer, gray primer on them, and they end up looking like concrete blocks. Got a couple of barricades here that I'll end up painting yellow. Uh, there's a little cement mixer, and I got a couple of mailboxes, rural mailboxes that I'm going to uh, put on the layout. Got to just get get some paint on them. Uh, also, the other thing I decided to do this year is to paint the Dutch Wonderland monorail blue. So here it is. It has two coats of uh, paint on, and actually two coats of a of a uh, clear uh, a pot, or clear uh, acrylic covering on it so that way if we get grease on our hands and then we get the grease on here it'll be able to wipe off easier rather than trying to wipe it off of the paint uh, again I use this section constantly uh, as you can see I have my paints here and uh, I have paints other places but uh, this is a great area of my, of my workshop